Welcome to our MES video about the MES Model Examiner. In this video, we will explain how to understand reports and demonstrate how to work with them in order to make your model guideline compliant. You will need to have basic knowledge about the MXM workflow to watch this video. An MXM report represents the results of a guideline compliance analysis. In general, a model should conform to all guidelines that were agreed to in a project. For this reason, you should fix all guideline violations or make use of MXM's automated repair functionality. Sometimes the model can deviate from these guidelines. One of the unique features of MXM is that you can comment on or justify these deviations by using annotations or ignore lists. This will be explained in detail in a different video. In this video, we will begin directly in the report perspective, which opens up after you have run an analysis. Two different navigation views assist in navigating through all report results. Other views provide more detailed information about the guidelines and their violations. Generally speaking, in an MXM report, you can see 10 different result types of findings. They are color coded and each one has a different symbol. The four most frequently occurring are Review, Failed, Warning and Passed. In the report, these result types of the findings are aggregated towards the most severe. In the navigation views, the top part of the report contains the report's creation date and time and the analyzed artifacts. You will use either the document navigation or the artifact navigation to navigate depending on your specific use case. For example, if you prefer to review your model in an aspect oriented way, for example, guideline per guideline, we recommend using the document navigation. Here, the structure of the report mirrors the structure of the guideline document with chapters, subchapters, guidelines, and checks. Depending on your selection on the left, the information in the findings view, where all the findings of the report can be clearly seen, will change. When you select a specific chapter, the findings view will display the results corresponding to that chapter. By selecting a guideline or check, only the results of the guideline or check will be shown. Let's take a closer look at result aggregation. The check result corresponds to the aggregation of the results of the findings. In the following example, the check has a failed finding and a warning finding, so the overall check result is failed. Similarly, the guideline result corresponds to the aggregation of its check results. The same goes for the results of chapters and the whole report. Please refer to the user guide for more information about the order and aggregation. For ease of use, you can filter the navigation view by using the tree menu options. For example, to show only violated guidelines and checks. Additionally, you can filter for particular guidelines, for instance, all MISRA guidelines. As you can see, all violated MISRA guidelines are shown now. Please note that when the tree menu is highlighted in red, it means that a filter is active and you are no longer in the default view. However, you can reset the filters easily. Now let's have a quick look at the artifact navigation. This is a useful view to use when you need to ensure that only certain model parts are compliant with your whole guideline document. Here, the structure of the report mirrors the structure of the model. Similar to the document navigation, all the findings are displayed on the right hand side but there is one major difference. By selecting a model level in the artifact navigation, only the findings for this subsystem and not the ones below will be shown. Right click the subsystem to open it in the model. In this example, the two findings we see only concern this model level and not the children's subsystems. Generally speaking, only findings for the selected subsystem will be shown on the right hand side. In addition, the aggregation of the finding result types is different in the artifact navigation. Here, they are aggregated only within one subsystem, but not towards their parent subsystems. Of course, the report result in turn corresponds to the overall worst finding result for both of the two navigation views. Additional information about the report can be seen in the overview. The overview is divided into two sections providing guideline results relating to the guideline documents at the top and results relating to the artifacts at the bottom. 
You can change the representations depending on your preferences. Here, we can see that there are one review, six failed and nine passed guidelines in total. Now let's have a look at a specific example using the guideline Usable Characters for Subsystem Names. By clicking on the guideline in the document navigation, you can see that there are five violations for this guideline. You can look up the guideline details in the Details view. Here, the description field informs you about the specifications. In this case, the name of a subsystem block should only contain specific characters and correspond to the described form. By selecting the check in the document navigation, detailed information about the check routine is given. The pass-fail criteria states the exact conditions for which the finding will be given. When selecting one finding in the findings view, more information about the violation is displayed in finding details. Here you can see which element violates the guideline and where it is located in your model. The message field displays the reason why a guideline is violated. In this example, the subsystem block drive encoder contains one or more blanks. This corresponds to the second failed criterion. The MXM report allows you to open the model directly and to show the respective element. To do so, double-click the finding or use the open block button. The element is highlighted in the model. Now you can repair the violation directly or you can consult MXM's suggested solution which you can see in the check description. In the example, the name contains blanks. A possible solution would be to remove these blanks, which you can do manually. Let's do a quick test. After repairing a violation, you can rerun the check in order to verify whether the correction conforms to the guideline now. Right-click the check in the document navigation, select Rerun and approve the action in the pop-up dialog. You can see that there is one less failed finding, because the finding that we have just repaired manually passes now. To fix the violation, you can also make use of MXM's automatic repair action if it is available. You can see that in this case, each of the blanks will be replaced by an underscore. Right-click the check in the document navigation and select Repair. Two dialog windows will pop up before the repair action can run. In the first one, you need to click Repair. In the second, select Yes to all items. The repair action will run now. You may also validate these results by rerunning the check. After fixing certain guideline violations and rerunning only a subset of checks, the report might be inconsistent. Guidelines can be interdependent, so changing one can change the results of another. A flag shown here will draw your attention to these potential inconsistencies. You can save a report at any time. This can be helpful if you need to continue your work later on or if your report needs to be reviewed externally. Use the Save button, choose a report name and select a directory where it should be archived. Here, the default options correspond to the configurations from the project settings. By clicking on Finish, the report will be saved as an MXMR file. You can also load an existing report using the respective menu options. Or you can drag and drop an MXMR file from the System Explorer. When you're done, the final step must be to rerun the full analysis in order to generate a consistent report. To do so, Click on the Run Analysis button. Congratulations! You have now successfully generated a consistent report using the MES Model Examiner. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for joining us today.